about super side dishes. So I hate it when you go to a restaurant or you go for dinner and the star of the show is the main and the sides are just a second thought. So it's either a piece of lettuce and a tomato or some wilted vegetables. Not today. Today, our side dish is gonna be so amazing. They are going to be the star of the show. So let's start off with my um, cauliflower broccoli bake. So I've literally just had a head of cauliflower, a head of broccoli, and I've cut them into florets. I'm just going to drizzle them with olive oil, season with salt and pepper. And then these are just going to go into an oven at high heat for around 30 minutes, just until they're lovely and roasted, and then we can make them into delicious, cheesy cauliflower broccoli bake. Okay, so our cauliflower broccoli is beautiful and roasted and crispy. So let's get on with making the broccoli cauliflower cheese. Here goes the cheese. So we're gonna use room temperature mascarpone cheese. It's really important it's room temperature or you won't be able to mix it. So that's gonna go straight into our bowl. And then to that, I'm going to add 175 grams of grated Gruyere cheese. And this has got a beautiful melting point Gruyere cheese. So it's perfect with this. And then I'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of pepper just to give lots of flavour. And I'm just gonna give this a mix around first. Put my bowl on a towel so it doesn't move around so much. Just gonna give this a quick mix. And then I'm going to add in the cauliflower and broccoli. <laughs> a simple yet delicious side dish. Okay. So now I'm just going to coat all the cauliflower and broccoli florets in the lovely seasoned cheese mixture. Just want to make sure it's all coated. And as you stir, the mascarpone will start to melt automatically in the heat of the, the florets. Okay, so now we're going to take our oven proof dish and I'm just going to pour cauliflower and broccoli and cheeses into the dish. All these gorgeous roasted florets and all the cheese. Make sure we get all that gruyere. It's going to melt perfectly into this. Now we're going to sprinkle some breadcrumbs on the top. We want a lovely golden crunch. And then as if we didn't already have enough cheese, we're going to top it off with some more, with some grated Parmesan. So now I'm just gonna put this under the grill until the cheese is lovely and golden and bubbling and then it'll be ready. Okay, so it's time to take a look at our cauliflower and broccoli cheese. Pretty impressed with that. 